everybody. Welcome back and thanks for joining me, Stacy, today for another workout. Today, you're going to get fit with me doing a towel workout. This is called towel workout number two. If you haven't tried my towel workout number one, try that one. That's a good starter video. And then come on here. This is going to kind of like add on to what we learned in towel workout number one. I'm going to give you a little bit more challenge in towel workout number two. So for our workout today, you're going to need your towel. You're going to need to have a glass of water something off to the side that you can sip off of when you need that break. And you're going to want to put on some music in the background so you have some motivating music to work by. Uh, make sure that you're cleared by your doctor to exercise. If you haven't been cleared by your doctor, please talk to your doctor before you begin any exercise program. And remember today that you want to take all of your exercises to your own range of motion, your own capacity but you also want to try to challenge yourself. So if you're finding that you're working hard and you're like, oh, maybe push it just a little bit harder, if you can. But like I said, follow those uh, limits that you have, okay? All right, you guys, get yourself ready. Go get your sip of water first, then get your towel, and come on back and join me. Let's get ready to work on out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get warmed up. If you haven't warmed up yet, let's just do some basic moves. Walking in place is a great place to start. So let's just start moving those feet, walking them in place. And as you go, we're just going to get that range of motion to get increased. So you're just going to make your movements a little bit bigger. So you're going to walk them stronger using those arms. Good posture matters, so tuck in your belly, put the shoulders back, stand up really tall. Get ready for a good workout and get ready to have some fun because that's what working out should be. It should be fun. Okay, take those feet wide and arrows out and in. Just widen them up, bring them back in. Out, out, in, in. And these are always good ways to start any warm up. Just walking those feet out and in. Get yourself ready for your workout. Let's do a few more. Okay, back to your march, just a march. Okay, start moving some shoulders, get the shoulders up, back and down. Got to bring some fluids to those joints. Good, few more. Okay, stop that and go ahead and walk those feet out a little bit wider. And tap the toes to the floor, a little shift to both sides. Take those elbows, bend them, extend behind. Do a little tricep kick back here. Extend and bend behind. Warming up those arms, warming up those heels, lifting the heels, calf raises, get the legs all ready. Woo. Okay, go ahead and keep those tappings going and just go ahead and bring it side to side and then just hands come forward and pull back. Warm up those back muscles forward and pull. And four, three, two, and one. And then just go ahead and take those feet to the floor. Circle around, warm up your hips. All the way around in some circles. And let's take it the other direction, all the way around in circles the other way. Perfect. Walk those feet in. And just some arms out, some circles out here. Let's warm up those shoulders. And other way. Bring those hands forward. Push through those palms. Take a deep breath. Hands behind, a little stretch behind, take a deep breath, and then hands overhead, take a deep breath. All right, you might want a longer warm-up. If you need longer warm-up, go ahead and do so. Anything, even walking around your house will warm you up. Just try to move some of those areas, shoulders, hips, knees, those joints. We're going to get started with our, our workout, so go grab your water, have a sip, grab your towel, and come back. Let's get ready to move a little bit faster. Welcome back. Have you had your water yet? Mine's right here. Mm. So thirst punching. Okay, keeping it to the side, but I'm going to remember to keep on taking those water breaks. So I get my timer all set up for a 30 second interval. 15 seconds rest. Again, in that 30 seconds, just work to a challenging point, and then you rest. And then we're going to move on to our next exercise. And if at the end of this workout you're feeling like, boy, that was pretty easy or I need more or I want to do a little extra today, 
just go ahead, come back to this point, and then replay again through the exercise. And then don't forget to cool down at the end. All right, let's get started. Got that towel? You can even take it and turn it around a couple twists. It's for tension. Most times we'll be using it, shoulders relaxed and down, a little tension on it. Not like I'm trying to be a superhuman here and pull it apart, just to have some tension keeping my core engaged. That's what's going to help us remind us to keep this area engaged. Let's get a super duper core workout with this. All right, you guys ready? First thing that we're going to do is a deadlift, right and left. What a deadlift looks like is a tall posture. You're going to come on down and come back up. This deadlift, we're going to come down to the opposite shoe and then to that shoe. So one shoe, other shoe, side to side. Tall posture in the center, 30 seconds, and let's Get going. So tall posture, down to my right shoe, center, left shoe, center, right, center, left, center. Now, if you don't like the feeling in your low back, straight forward will work for a regular old deadlift here. I have my band nice and tight here, or my towel. It can be a band if you'd rather. Deep breathing, always come back to that center position. Okay, there's your beat. We're gonna go to walking high knees, and you're gonna take that band or that towel, and you're gonna go to a figure eight. So we're gonna figure it, eight it as you go with some high knees. Really tall with your posture. Shoulder relaxed. Ready, so start high knees, and then across the high knees. Across the high knees. Figure eight sideways, the infinity sign here. Keep the band engaged. If you need to, you can go ahead and put it down. If it bothers you at any point. Like I said, it's just there to add a little through the workout, so it's just not just body weight. Okay, squat and shift to the right. Hold that towel. We're gonna come down, we're gonna squat the bottom, and shift to the right. Down, shift to the right, lift my foot to the left. When I shift, that toe can leave the floor if it likes. If not, then it's okay. Ready, down, shift, down, shift. Toe goes out to the side and down towards that floor. Try to bring it down a little bit. Big breath with these. Four, tap. That's your option. Okay, squat and shift to the left. Down squat, shift to the left. Squat, shift to the left. Same thing as before, just other side. Ready? Down, shift, down, shift. Toes forward or slightly towards the floor for more glutes. Big breath. Really engaging our core here. Let's take it to a witch hop with the knee lift. So, witch hop, we're gonna start on one side. Knees gonna lift on the other side. So, witch hop, knee drive up, wood chop. So, across the body with a knee lift. Find that place. Step back a little bit, bring it across, knee drive. Big breath, tall posture. This works balance too with that knee drive. If you'd rather, swoop it down. No knee drive, that's your option. This just more. If you're looking for cardio, go here. Okay, right foot, we're gonna step over, hold the very ends of your toe. Put it down, step over with the right foot over. Step back. So a little lunge forward, a little lunge back. Find your position. Hold that towel, step over, land, step back, land, over, and then back. This is causing us to have to be nice and high with those leg lifts, and it's a little lunge. You can add more depth to it if it feels right. Which 
shots on the other side to find that talus nice and high maybe. Maybe set the shoulders coming down on that side. Maybe that knee lifts too. That's your option with the knee lift. And drive the knee. Rotate and drive the knee. Big breath. Again, option, just bringing it down. Foot stays on the floor for rotation. Okay, bring it back down to the floor. Still not all the way to the floor, but just dangling there. U shape here. Left foot's gonna step over, just like your lunge before. Stepping over, stepping back. Ready? And step over, step back. Maybe more of a lunge this time since you're comfortable with that movement. If this is too much, put the towel down and just step forward and step back. You could always go ahead and do away with the towel and hold on to a chair. Longer towel, right? It's a good blower. Okay, step out of that. Okay, we're gonna go to a jack out and in. Let's get a little cardio here. Pull that towel out in front of you. It's a forward in as you jack the legs out and in. I'll show you a low impact. It's a tap and a tap. Ready? So either tap, tap, or out and in. Push and pull. Big breath again. You can always do this with some little speed here. That's your low impact option. There's always low impact options with every exercise, really. Okay, we're going to a halo. Find a nice tall posture. Hold those hands with that band nice and taut around the head and back down around the head and back down and halo. Ready, up and around, back down, up and around, back down. This is more for shoulder mobility than it is for a workout. I'm trying to keep those shoulders really strong and usable. And if you're feeling really good, higher up and around, higher up and around. Up and around. Okay, torso rotations. Wide feet. Hold here. One, two. One, two. One, two on each side. Ready? One, two, center. One, two, center. One, two, center. One, two, center. Little pulses. Try not to move the legs. Let the torso do the rotation unless something's bothering you with your torso. Try to get a nice good movement here. Okay, let's go to some knee tucks. Knee tucks is high knee. Try to tuck the knee under that towel. So knee, knee. Try like tap down by the shin if you can. Find a tall posture and tuck the knee, tuck the knee. High knees, tap that shin if you can. Tap the shin, tap the shin. Big breath. Let's take it to a torso rotation. This time we're gonna rotate that right foot out and the left foot, so we're not gonna keep the feet planted. So you're gonna step out, you're gonna hold, you're gonna step out, punch across. Step out, punch across, same side leg, same side arm. Step out, punch across, come back in. Step out, punch across, come back in. Punch across, hold it tight at your hip. Punch across. Rotate through. Get good rotation, that foot stays planted.
drive it like your big old roundhouse here. Let's try it on the other side. Tuck it in. This side stays planted. This foot's going to rotate out. Big old rotation across. Touch across. Tap my toe out to the side. Shoulders relax. Tummies are still in, right? Okay, big step push. Punch across. Punch across. We'll use that rotation again. Big breath. Pretty good. I hope it's better than good. Okay, let's go to those uh, ooh, squat and heel raises. These are what's next. So come on down. Just hold that band. Come down to the squat. Once you're down there, let's just uh, lift right and left heels. Down to squat. Heel raise light, right and left. Hold that band out there for a little extra for your core. Helps you with balance too. Heel raise, heel raise. Try to stay as low as you can with these. Alternating with heels. Breathing through them. Breathe, breathe. How are those heels doing those calf muscles, back of the legs? They feel good. How's that balance? Right in. Let's go to that hip thruster. You're going to take a lunge on the right side. As you come down, you're going to thrust, bring the band up. Thrust through the hips, push the hips forward. Strong thrust. Down, thrust, down, thrust. Now, to thrust good, squeeze the glute. Be yourself. Push up, push up, creating power. Just that right side is bending. to this some right side lunges here. We're gonna step to the right foot forward and then we're gonna step the right foot back. So much just step push and then overhead in. Push forward, overhead in. Right foot push, overhead in. Right foot push, overhead in. Keep growing in that standing leg, I bet. Let's go to hip thrust on the left side. So again, hip thrust. It's just push through the hips. Push through the hips. This knee bends. Push forward. Let that towel coat nice and high. Deep breath. Down. Thrust it up. Thrust up. Big breath. Push strong. Put some tension on that big old towel you got there. Try to use some good strength. Circle around. Circle around. 
and then stay low in that strong position. Strong, powerful movements. You want stop, reverse it. How are you doing? Hey there. Okay, let's go to some reverse steps with some bicep curls. Step back right, left, curl in, curl in. Just a bicep curl here. Tension on the band, palms are up. Strong steps, doesn't have to be a whole complete lunge. Stepping back is good for the glutes here. Good for your balance. Okay, take the band overhead this time, keeping it somewhat wide. We're gonna do a side bend. You have the option of keeping it here and just side bend here if the shoulders bother you. Up nice and tall, deep breath, side bend to the side. I'm gonna show you another option here. Ready, knee lift. Deep breath. Firing up your core. You should be feeling the shoulders a little bit, not a lot. Hopefully the shoulders are relaxed and down. Reset it down and roll out the shoulders. Again, you can always come here, keeping it tight, side bend. All right, or overhead tall posture, deep breath, feet are a little wider than normal, side bend. Thinking strong core, right? How about those knees if you're feeling it? down relax those shoulders great job guys last one's coming here okay bird dog right and left that means we're going to take both arms forward right leg comes up then plant it then left leg so it looks like this and then we just keep alternating those feet you guys ready here we go just a hinge extend through the leg hinge extend through the leg deep breath Good, strong form. Hey. Wonderful job. Let's grab our water. Everybody grab your water. Have a good sip of it. Maybe two or three. It's important to keep hydrated while you work out. It's really good for your body in many ways. So just make sure you always remember to drink the water even when you're not working out. You guys did a great job. Thanks for following along with me today. And hopefully you got a good workout and enjoyed your workout. And maybe you found some muscles today that you haven't used in a while. And maybe you're a little sore from that. And that's typical if you haven't exercised and done this kind of workout before. So just make sure you do some kind of stretching. Let's just do a little cool down here. Just a little walking in place. Big inhale with the arms. Big exhale. Big inhale with the arms, big exhale. And then go ahead and walk those feet out a little bit wider. Take those hands forward. You're gonna lace the fingers together, just push through the palms. Let's stretch out the back muscles here and those hands. Stretching the hands out too. You guys grab the towel quite a bit today. So you wanna make sure we reverse the things that we did when we walked out. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and bring those hands now down and behind you. Let's really relax those shoulders so the hands grab a hold of each other and pull down. Relax your shoulders. Stretching the chest muscles here, which are usually very tight on most. Go ahead and bring those hands forward. Shake them out. 
big open and closed hands. And then some circles for the wrists from all our grabbing that we did today of those towels. Great job again. I know I said it before, but great job as always. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Stacy, and I appreciate you guys getting fit. Let's fit in it together. That's what fit stands for. Here we are, and we're together. And you guys keep moving, and I will be seeing you soon. Take care. Please subscribe and like my videos to see more. Bye-bye.